welcome back guys what is up it's ssg i'm bringing out some nba news it's been a while we're back into pretty much trade season and that's when i start kicking off these videos i've been doing them for about a year now um and i try to cover all the trades during trade deadline or even during the off season i do all the moves so if you like that kind of content definitely drop a like definitely subscribe for more i'm going to be covering many trades um in the coming days coming weeks um the most recent one and the only one so far has been the lakers trading away rajon rondo rajon rondo to the cavaliers um this move is coming because ricky rubio tore his acl recently and they need a point guard at the cavaliers that sort of fits a similar role in a veteran guard that comes off the bench and helps out Darius Garland. Um, I think that'll be a really good move for them in having Rondo. Maybe, you know, just get a little bit out of Rondo that they can. So far, Rondo's numbers have been at an all-time low. I just think he's been unmotivated at the Lakers, possibly playing alongside a team that's trending upwards, um, could give him, you know, some more motivation, but there's not really too much left in Rondo this late in his career, in my opinion. Um, as far as it, you know, money-wise, they didn't. They did a trade with um, Cavs for Denzel Valentine, who will be waived by the Lakers. That will be opening up their final roster spot, and I'm guessing they may get rid of Trevor Ariza as well, possibly to open up another, uh, you know, spot as well. But we will see. Sorry, you can hear my phone back there, but. Um, I do think that's another possibility, but as far as how this impacts the Cavs, they'll be getting, you know, a quality, you know, in their hopes, a quality player for someone that they would have waived um, pretty much regardless. And it helps them with their cap situation, which I'm not qualified enough to talk about. And there's, you know, a lot better people out there that talk about that. But it's much better that they did a one-for-one -one trade rather than a, you know, cutting a Valentine and just signing Rondo up front. It saves them in, you know, their cap situation. And I think that's great for them. It, I think this trade overall is a win for the Cavaliers. Um, I guess it is a win-win situation for the Lakers because they weren't really playing Rondo so they can cut ties with him um, immediately. And then, you know, of course, wave Valentine ASAP as well. And I just think... Uh, Lakers plans on this would be to sign a another player that you know possibly could help them on the defensive end similar to a Stanley Johnson that they added up recently so that's sort of where they're looking um, I'm not really sure if they're gonna add another big man but they just have so many different holes to fill up but I do think just a quality wing player that's decently young that can defend would be what the lakers are looking for that's pretty much the update on the lakers and the cavaliers you know trade situation in this as far as other upcoming trades i will be covering them as you guys already know hope you guys enjoyed and peace out